I swear I did this already. I swear I did this already, but I, I'm feeling like I have deja vu, bro, because Game Brand with an article. I don't know what they're trying to pull when they keep putting these headlines up, when they keep writing these same articles, bro. I'm going to definitely link the original time I made this fucking video because I swear I made this video already. I don't know if it was Game Rant's article, but somebody already made this headline and it already didn't make sense before. But now Game Rant is really trying to double down on this fake ass narrative that they're trying to pull that PlayStation has an Xbox, I mean, has a has a battleground with Xbox over Starfield. Don't! <laughs> There's no competition here, bro. There's not. And they were talking about these days are set up for a huge PlayStation 5 versus Xbox RPG battle. PlayStation doesn't have an RPG. PlayStation hasn't had an RPG since the PlayStation 3, since Infamous fucking 1. There hasn't been a single RPG on a PlayStation platform. They've been third person action gaming the fuck out of PlayStation for half of one generation and all of the next one. PlayStation don't have a fucking RPG. What RPG are you talking? Are they portraying that PlayStation has? It's timed exclusive RPG fucking Baldur's Gate 3. A three-year-old game. This is outrageous, bro. I don't know why they're trying to portray this fucking showdown. They're, they, I'm talking about they go in this article. They talk about Baldur's Gate 3, which is created by an amazing fucking studio. But this game has been out for three years. Everybody who knows this studio is amazing has been playing this game for three years. And if they haven't, the game's been done for at least a year. It's been in early access. I've been working bugs out and shit. But, like, nobody's really had to wait for this game because it's been on PC for three years. You can buy this game right now, which we gonna get into with this fucking article. And talk about Baldur's Gate 3, the pedigree that the studio that's making it has. I have Divinity and Original Sin 2. Both of those games are really fucking good. But they're CRPGs. They're like, you know, little point-and-click turn-based games. They're they're fun. They're cool. The story is actually really fucking good and engaging. Then they talk about, oh, should I have to fucking click read again? They they talk about the the battle of the two. There's no battle of the two, bro. Because Baldur's Gate 3 is time to school to the PlayStation. It's not a fucking PlayStation game. It's a PC game that's getting a port versus an Xbox game. <laughs> And they're trying to make this a battle. Why? Because Baldur's Gate 3 is getting ported a day before early access for Starfield. That's it? That is the only that is the only thing that puts PlayStation versus Xbox is early access for Starfield is a day after fucking Baldur's Gate 3 gets ported to PlayStation. That is what they're getting at. Supposedly, they're trying to make this an RPG battle, which is crazy because they say weird shit like this. Like it's possible for the console exclusivity to work in favor of the two games. No, no, it won't because no, it's talking about Baldur's Gate 3. Why? Because the game has been out for three years and is getting ported to PlayStation, which PlayStation people aren't even talking about, which gaming articles aren't even talking about being a big game coming this year. Why? Because this game is three years old. They already talked about this fucking game. Then Starfield, a new game, which is coming this year, which everybody's waiting on. But then they say Xbox gamers get Starfield. At least they play it through Game Pass. Why? Why would you have to put that, bro? This is like when I read shit like this in these articles from these journalists, I know they don't fuck with Xbox. You, you can tell that they really don't fuck with the Xbox platform because they have to put shit in like that. Like Xbox gamers are getting Starfield whether they play it in Game Pass or not. You didn't have to put... That they're going to play it in Game Pass when they're getting Starfield. Getting Starfield means they're going to be the platform that's getting the game. Not how they play it. You didn't say how people are going to play PlayStation 5's Baldur's Gate 3 or the port of the game. No, they didn't have to. Why? Because there's only way to play Baldur's Gate 3 on PlayStation 5. You have to buy that bitch for full price. A three-year-old game, by the way. You have to buy that bitch at full price crazy how they put that in there then they'd be like <laughs> it would be interesting to see the playstation 5 only rpg really nigga playstation 5 only rpg it's a it's a three-year-old port bro calm it down calm it down or the xbox only rpg which i mean is going to pc the same day as going to xbox that's fine but prove to be more popular Three-year-old Baldur's Gate 3 versus brand new Starfield. Which one is more popular? Oh, let's see what fucking... What fucking Dalton thinks. Oh, who's in the fucking thumbnail? Who's photoshopped into this thumbnail? 
a PlayStation 5 inside the Xbox only RPG. Which one is more fucking popular, Doan, bro? Make sense of your own article to me because I don't understand what you're getting at. Then he goes on. Because <laughs> I read this already. He talks about the PC platform. And PC players get to choose between games. Oh my god, bro. Like this game haven't been out for three years. Like Baldur's Gate 3 hasn't been going for three years continuously. When you could have jumped in at any point if you found interest in this game. It's not like this game is just now getting done. And it's going to launch on PlayStation 5. No, they finished this game already. Then they finish in the port for PlayStation 5. So he's saying that they get to choose. Either they just buy Baldur's Gate 3 or Starfield. Or they can play Starfield through Game Pass. Which is a great fucking option. Microsoft gives them that option, so if they want to buy Baldur's Gate 3, they buy that. They can play Starfield through Game Pass. Microsoft still fucking loves that idea. And everything, everybody's happy. So it takes out the, the fiscal angle of this. The financial angle of it is gone. But the timing angle is still there. Which is cap. Why? Because you can literally go buy Baldur's Gate 3 right now on PC. Finish the game before Starfield comes out. The game that you buy on... On the PC right now is going to be the port that you get on PlayStation. They're not adding more content to the game. They already added all the fucking content to the game already. All the content is there. The whole story is there. You can literally go buy it right now. So what's stopping place? I mean, for PC gamers from actually playing Baldur's Gate three, not a damn thing. So why would they be time constrained when they literally have months to play Baldur's Gate three? Before the official launch, because it's already been a game for sale for three years versus Starfield, which is literally on sale right now. And the game opens up on the first if you buy the, the, the legendary edition of the game or the sixth when you buy the regular edition of the game or you buy it in Game Pass. Come on now, Game Rant, bro. Why do y'all have to keep going like this? This is not this is not gaming journalism, bro. This is not gaming journalism. This is this is literally. Just fanboy content in article form. There, this is no correlation to anything, bro. The more popular game, which one did you put in the title? Baldur's Gate 3 or Starfield? I don't I don't even see Baldur's Gate 3. We have to, you have to read the article to figure out what huge fucking PlayStation 5 RPG is coming out. It is crazy how he adds which one is gonna be more popular. That is crazy, bro. That's nonsense. But I'm in this right here. So thank you all for watching, like, subscribe if you're new. It is wild that people keep doing this, bro. I'm going to go find the first video I made on this. I, I believe it was fucking Game Rant, bro. I'm going to be surprised if it wasn't, but it could have been Kotaku or some other bullshit. You know, all those media outlets say the same shit in all their articles. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm going to see y'all next video.